guys, Christina Nichols for Hollywood Junket with Uralis and Ariana, who have unfortunately uh, been voted off today. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, it's been so much fun seeing you all yeah. season long. And I enjoyed both of your pieces tonight. And I know like the whole, there's like, a, ugh, people are giving the fish piece like a bad rep. What? I feel like people are like, oh, like the judges didn't really love it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't oh, hear Nigel the judges. Oh, Nigel loved me tonight. You didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the sexiest fish. Oh, that, thank you. I, I did too. I believed in my sexiness. Yes. I believed in it, so. It's all good. <laughs> I thought it was fun. I liked the music. I mean, it was something different. Yeah. But, um, I, I, I believe, like, just in the get-go, it's, like, a little challenging. Just right? Just idea. hearing the idea yeah. in and of itself mm -hmm. to yeah. get over. Yeah. And honestly, I wonder, I didn't get a chance to talk to the judges tonight, how much of them seeing the package influenced their responses. Yeah. I, I think that has something to do with it, for sure. For sure. I think the packages sort of like set you up for what you're about to see and if you're confused about what you're about to see then it leads to further confusion mm. instead of like yeah I get it <laughs> it's like oh I still don't know what's going on but did you end up having fun I definitely had fun like I've never been a sexy fish before so I'm just gonna <laughs> kill it no matter what you know what I mean like I gotta go for it this might be the only chance I ever have to be a sexy fish oh, so yeah. gotta That's go right. for it <laughs> <laughs> And you're, you're Alice, you got to work with Sonia Taya and Jim this week, and I, your energy looked amazing with Jim. Um, what was it like for you? It was crazy. Sonia is insane to work with. Like she demands a lot, but she's really caring, really nurturing in a way. Like it's like two like opposites, but it works for some reason. <laughs> and Jim was such a great partner. Like his ballet background really made it easy for us to like do all the lifts and he knew exactly where to like place my body and I was like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> all right. So it was just crazy. I'm glad I ended with that. So in terms of your whole experience on So You Think You Can Dance, are there any memories that super stand out either with your fellow dancers or as a dancer, like with the dance experiences? Oh man, we got this question and I, every time I, I blank out because there's so many things that have happened over the past like month. So I don't know. I, I doubled it. I was like, you could either tell me about how it was as a dancer, like how you've grown or like a fun memory with each other that you guys shared. Fun memory. Um, squad. <laughs> squad. The, the first episode, Team, yeah, team Street. Squad. Yeah. We are the squad. Three, we two, one. Squad. squad. Forever part of season 12 squad. No matter what. Season 12. There you go. <laughs> and... I'm sure everyone's asking this question as well. Have you had a chance to think about what's next? Oh, Besides yeah. rest and seeing <laughs> rest, family. Rest, Chipotle, mm -hmm. IHOP. I'm thinking about food right now, so I'm yeah, sorry. I'm so yeah. sorry. But <laughs> um, what's next for me in terms of dance? I just want to teach and travel and share what I've learned thus far and definitely want to learn more. And I, I want to kind of maybe move out to Cali with my crew, Beat Club. Shout out to B-Clip, because I do that all the time in every interview. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> He's like, who is this? What are you doing? <laughs> um, I don't know what's next, but I can't wait to see how far my craft takes me. I'm definitely going to keep on learning. I want to teach. I want to teach everything I've learned in this experience and share it to dancers who want to do something like this or just want to be a professional dancer. Like I've learned so many things in this experience that I could like take on in the future and I would love to relay that to anybody who's willing to listen. What's something specific that you learned, if you can think of it right now, that, that you would really love to share? Um, you can keep pushing. You're tired, not injured. <laughs> and if you're injured, know the difference. Like, stay safe. Nothing's yeah, worth it. <laughs> yeah, because I know there's been a lot of injuries going on. Uh, for uh, many of the dancers. Yes. How about for you guys? How are your bodies holding up? I had like a little shoulder problem, but it was, I think I was just overworking it. Yeah, I don't think. Long hours. Yeah. I had a shoulder issue too this week. So, how do you tell the difference when you need to stop and when you need to keep pushing? Um, I think it's knowing when you're uncomfortable and when you're in pain mm -hmm. because there's a clear difference. If you're uncomfortable, it's like when you're stretching and you know, you yeah. feel a little discomfort. When it's pain and it's excruciating or you can't, you're immobile, then there's a problem and you need to stop. <laughs> Good advice. Good advice. I, especially I feel like a lot of young dancers or athletes mm -hmm. tend to push because yeah. they're young and they're not as familiar with their body and they're just like, no, I can do it. I can do it. And then yeah. you get an injury that's yeah. going to take you out for a long Work time. Smart, Work smart, not hard. Yeah. Work smart. No. That's very valuable. Help yeah. me out a lot. Mm -hmm. Rest and relaxation station. 
That's how we do it out here in the streets. Squad. <laughs> Squad. <laughs> so guys, it's this is one of your it is your final interview of the night for tonight. So what would you like to say to your fans out there who are watching? Um, thank you for this experience. Thank you for reaching out to me, all your positive vibes and all your like things that you guys say to me on Twitter, Instagram, it really hits home. Like I loved it every single week and I hope I still get to hear from you guys no matter what I do. And thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys so much for the support each and every week. I really appreciate all the kind words and positivity and encouragement you guys have been giving me. It helps me out so much reading them and seeing them and feeling that positive energy from you guys. I appreciate it so much and thank you for following me through my journey thus far and being so supportive and I love you all for it and I'm going to keep sharing with you guys because you guys are so awesome.